here. We're going to pop it in a bucket of water. And again, they're rated for like three and a half hours. Let's see how long we can get out of this one. We're going to start my timer on my phone and let it go. The water in the bucket is about 50 degrees. So it's pretty chilly, but typical for Lake Superior. I let the light run three hours and 20 minutes to check on it. And my timing was perfect. The light automatically shuts off once the battery gets to a certain low level and it did so here. So uh, three hours and 20 minutes is plenty of time. Let's do a little more harsh test. We're gonna throw it in some ice water here. This water is really cold. I've never tested a light in water this cold uh, before. So on the high setting with a fully charged battery, we're gonna pop the light into a bucket of ice water and see how well it does. This was a really good test for any ice diving applications or any other cold water applications. As before, I would set my timer on my phone and let it run. I'm not going to let it run near as long this time. I'm only going to let it run about an hour and 20 minutes. I'll come back to it then. Okay, after an hour and 28 minutes, I came back, pulled the light out. The LED is blinking red. That means it has less than 10% battery left. That's pretty good.